And it's one of the things that came under um, kind of uh, front and center with the Magruder incident is the Bill 4620 that you co-sponsor where the school resource officers were prohibited. And the spirit of the law was to relocate those funds for um, health and other kind of services to provide a better environment for the children. Do you think anything has to change there? Uh, or do, do we need both? Do we need to well, go back to the other know, um, I the, the challenge is the school has not hired the positions that are supposed to take the place of the police officers in the school. So you have to replace a police officer with a professional who is better at doing what that police officer was trying to do. I do believe that a different kind of professional will be more successful. I think a lot of kids don't want to talk to a police officer. I'm sorry. You know, I think there's a little bit of a mythology here that, you know, kids who are troubled, you know, like to interact with a, with a police officer. And I don't think that's true. I think they like to interact with an adult that they trust, which is more likely to be a coach or a teacher or something like that. So I actually think we will do a better job preventing violence if we have school security staff and counselors as our front line than a police officer. Um, so yes, I think things need to change. I think we have to have better and different training for the security staff. And I think we got to get those positions in there. We got to get those counselors and those therapists in there and they haven't been hired yet. So that's a problem. Um, in the meantime, you know, the county executives model of, you know, having police officers assigned to the school, but not stationed inside the school, you know, that's an adequate transition. Um, but I believe we will have more success with safety if we rely upon a different kind of professional. I don't think a police officer is necessarily the best way to get to kids and to help them uh, you know, make better decisions and stay away, from, stay away from violence. And at the end of the day, I think the Magruder incident and any other incident shows that whoever encounters a violent situation you know, they're going to call 911. The police response calls from, comes from calling 911. You know, it's not that first person who's there. It's everybody else who comes. And it, that's going to happen as fast if it's a security staff calling 911 or if it's a police officer. It's still going to be the same.